What's good everyone? D Smoke and Grills here with my channel bringing you everything helpful from tech, gaming, tips and tricks, how-tos, reviews, and your boy's favorite, barbecue. Can't forget the barbecue, never forget the barbecue. So if you find my content helpful in any way, please like, subscribe, hit that bell for future videos that may help you. Boop! On to the next video. So I think it's a good time I need to make this video. Um, we're stuck in quarantine right now still. Ain't no barber shops open, no hair salon, so can't get a haircut, can't get a shape up, can't get a shave. So I figured I'd make this video on double-edged safety razor. This is what I use all the time. Um, before this, I used to use my straight edge right here. And before that, I used to use disposable razors, just like this because they swivel, which is annoying. Can't get a straight edge out of that. But one of my better options, because I'm actually left-handed, so this one here kind of sucks doing it for me. But to get a straight edge, the guard here usually blocks from getting that perfect edge. So what I ended up doing a couple years back, see the thing is that when these razors get old too, they start getting hard to turn. I'll show you how to fix that in a moment. And I ended up cutting myself last time too, actually trying to turn this open. So here you got the safety guard. And here's the blade and here's the top. So you got the blade here. Be careful, you got the top piece. So drop the blade back in. You're gonna take the handle, screw it right back on there. Just like that. Make sure you don't cut yourself. Ah, almost got the skin, but there you go. No guard blocking. It's easier to get in the corners like that. Now the issue before I cut myself again here to unscrew this here without being so tight because of all the water and washing inside here will get a little crusty and on the threads too here. So I got a fix for that. What we got here is a little appliance oil. So you're gonna be using this. I'm not gonna put it straight into here because it's a little deeper as you can see than where the threads are in the handle. So I'm not gonna be dropping this into here, but what I will be doing, I'll screw this here, take off the blade real quick. Don't wanna cut myself. So I'm just gonna put a little couple of droplets here on the threads, just like that. Nice and oiled up now. Take this blade back here real quick. Drop it in. Put the safety guard back. And there you go. So now that's on the threads there, it's way easier now that you're gonna get to unscrew this. It's not gonna be as tight. That's my easy fix for that. Um, regarding blades here, I'll put um, a video for blades at the end of this video. Y'all can watch that. Thanks for watching my video on the double-sided safety edge blade here. I hope that helped y'all out a little bit. So got a nice little cut too at the end of that. But thanks a lot for watching. Catch y'all on the next tips and tricks video.